Hey guys, Amy here with Sublimation and More and Hellbound Company. And in this video tutorial, I'm just showing you guys how to use my pet ID templates. Um, so this is obviously they're used in Photoshop. I am hoping to get these created to Corel very soon for you guys. So hopefully we'll get that accomplished soon. Um, so I just wanna show you how easy it is to use these templates. And even if you don't have a lot of Photoshop experience with this how-to video, you should be able to edit these fairly quickly. Okay, so here is my Georgia template. <clears throat> you can, um, I leave the back plain so you can put whatever you want on there. Um, you can definitely make them two-sided and print this on both sides over here on the left. Over here in the layers screen, you will see different layers. I have a safe layer that will give you the safe area before it cuts off. For example, you don't want the text over here, the signature to cut off. Um, and all the other layers are telling you basically what they are. So this is where you change your class, your breed, your name, date of birth, sex, eyes, height, all that good stuff. Um, the background layer I have locked because that way you don't mess it up, but I mean, you can unlock this and modify it yourself. I just make it locked so it uh, stays easier for the people that aren't so Photoshop proficient. Um, you'll also see another folder over here called Pet Photos, and this is where we're going to change the photos. So first let's start with the photos and then we'll go on to text. So it tells you to double click to replace the image. So we're just gonna double click that. And here is the photo. You can change the background color, um, anything you want, just by double clicking on the color. And if you wanted it to be a red background, you can certainly do that, okay? Um, to replace the image, it says go to File and Replace. And you do this so it keeps, the, um, keeps your photos resize proportionately so you don't have to do a bunch of resizing yourself. So I'm just going to go see if I can find some photos of my fur babies here. And let's see what I got. Um, let's see. Maybe I got one of them over here. Okay, so here's a double photo. So obviously I want just him over here or maybe even her, but we'll just go with him and we're gonna stretch that out. So all you do is just drag in the corners and you can stretch it out. So that was a very small photo to begin with. Um, so this is what I'm showing you here is just basically pla placing a photo and, um, and without modifying the background. So obviously the red is not gonna show. So once you're done placing the photo, if you click up at the top to click the X to close and save changes. And as you can see, the beauty part of smart objects is it updates the other two little photos as well. So you don't have to worry about resizing them over there. I've made this completely easy for you. So all you gotta do is just edit the main photo, okay? So, what if we wanted to put a different image? So I'm just gonna double click. What if you wanted an image where he didn't have a background? Well, because we place this, it now thinks it's a um, image placement, so we have to unlock it. So we're going to, I'm just going to right click on it and do um, rasterize layer. So that allows me to, it allows it to think it's a regular image and that we can now work with it and do what we want. So if you want the background removed, that's pretty simple in Photoshop as well. You're going to come over here to your quick selection tool. And if it's not showing like mine wasn't, you just right click and you, then you can choose your quick selection. Up here, you've got um, you've got the plus and the minus, and then you've got this tool, which is the new selection tool. And then you also have the size of the brush. So I'm going to bring it down to 15, and then we're going to just start taking him. Look how easy that is, guys. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in just so we can see, and I'm going to go back a little, add a little back. All right, 
Now we need his his collar is covered there, so we want to click the plus and add that back in. All right. So again, it took it away right there. So I went back to the minus sign, and we're just slowly scrolling over that. All right. So if you think you got it good, then all you want to do and now is you want to come over here, down to here. And you want to create a layer mask. That is this icon right next to, to the um, FX. It's add layer mask. So you're going to click that and it takes away the background. All right. So we're going to turn that one off. The best part about the layer masks is if you take away or add too much, then you can put it back in just by using your black and white brush. You have to have black and white color. So if you have, say, a red color here, or a gray color, to simply click um, the two little icons right here, which means it'll default it back to black and white. All right, and then take your brush and you want to resize it to wherever you want. You can resize it up here, or I like to use my bracket buttons. And see how I'm, if I brush around it, it's adding back. Okay, if I do, that's the white adds back, the black takes away. So I'm going to make my brush smaller. And I'm going to hold down my shift key while going around his neck there to take back away. And again, the best part about the layer mask that other people are probably not going to teach you about is that you can add back or take away as you need to. All right. Look how simple that is. All right, and so if we wanted the black background and we wanted the blue background, you can change the color and again, click the X, save changes, and it updates for you. That is how easy, guys, it is to take away a background in any animal that you want to put on these pet tags. All right, so there was Mississippi. I mean, I'm sorry, that was Georgia. Let's take a look at Mississippi and it's gonna be the same thing over here. So I wanna come over here and file, find the pet photos, which it says the photo right there says pet photos. And we wanna double click to open up that smart object. All right, and then <clears throat> over here, it tells you to go to file and place again. So just go to file and let's place another image and let's see if we can find another photo, a better photo of my doggies. I know I got tons of them around here somewhere. Um, uh, um, image uploaded, maybe right here I got a picture of my doggies. This is the hardest part is finding the photos. Here's one. Oh, okay, so here's one. We'll take her right here. All right, so again, we need to make this a raster image. So I'm gonna right click on the image and do rasterize layer. And then I'm gonna come up here and get my quick selection tool. And I'm gonna click on this far left brush, which is new selection. And I'm just gonna start choosing her. Okay. All right, so I think I've done a good job initially there. I maybe got a little too much over here, which you can always zoom in. Make your brush a little smaller. All right. So this only takes a couple seconds, guys. And now we're going to make it a quick a layer mask again. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom over here right next to your FX tool and I'm going to do add layer mask. Okay. Hide that guy there. And again, if you need to add or take away, we can do that. So I'm just going to hold down my shift while dragging in the corners and that makes my image bigger. Okay. And now we can go and clean up. So I'm zooming in just so we can see. Remember you need your black and white. So I'm gonna do my black to, to clean up here and take my brush tool. And we're just going to clean up a little bit so that she doesn't look so jaggedy. And this is going to be great for you guys as selling points when you guys can edit this 
again and be sure to save this video because you can watch it back and and play it again while you're while you're following my commands all right so down here she's a little dirty again and I'm just trying to give you different angles of pet photos because you're going to get all kinds of different angles from people. So you want to be able to account for that. Okay. So that looks pretty good. If we wanted to rotate her, I'm going to turn these off real quick. <clears throat> um, if you wanted to rotate her, I need to edit over here. Hmm. Oh, that's why. If I wanted to rotate her head and make her more like that, then that's what I would do. So once you like how she looks or your, how, your, how your boy looks, then you can close, save changes, and again, it updates it and even makes the small image, it's already set to black and white, like on a real ID would. You don't have to make any changes down here. That's again, that's part of the smart object. It does it for you. Why, why I don't want to force you guys to have to do this twice when you can just do it once and the other and be done with it. So that's how easy my templates are to work with. Okay, so on the text, if you want to change any text, you can click on the text icon over here and you can choose any one of these and go over here to um, and start clicking. So for first name, we want to click in the first name and we can just say, and start typing that's how easy it is same for the phone numbers you want to hit your check up here to lock it in come down here to the phone number oops sorry come down here and click on the phone number then click your text and just start typing all right so that's how easy it is to change anything in Photoshop and even with the signature okay so next is we're gonna try the Tennessee and again you come over here to um, this one has a large and small photos you're not gonna do anything with a small small image I put on there do not edit because I've done all the grunt work for you so it should generally be locked but if it's not you don't need to mess with it so you just come over here and double click on the large photo and it's going to bring up your smart image again so we want to go to file and place and let's do him now so once you place the image you can place it either by hitting enter or you can could have check, uh, hit that check mark that was up there at the top um, we're going to want to do the same thing um, I'm just going to show you some color image tricks real quick. So if you come up here to image up at the uh, first, you got to rasterize the image. Sorry about that. So you right click on the layer and hit rasterize layer. And then let's do some color correction. So if you go to image adjustments and levels, this is how I make a, some of my color corrections. And this is just changing the lighting as if it should have been done originally by taking the picture. All right. Um, once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and take our quick selection tool again. So the quick selection tool is over here. And we're just going to zoom in. And we're going to do a new selection. And I'm just going to start at the tip of his ears. Take his tongue. All right, so now we got to go back and subtract. So you're just going to go around and you're going to do as best as you can. And if it's not perfect, again, like I said, one of the great things about a image mask is that you can go back and fix it. Okay. Now I'm not sure how much of the feet I'm going to want in there, so I'm not going to really worry about that. And then you just keep going back and forth ah, with the minus and plus brushes and too much of his ears taken away. All right, so I'm going to go with that. And then you're going to come over here down at the bottom and you're going to do add layer mask. All right, we don't need that. 
And so that's pretty much what he looks like. Um, if you zoom in, if you had anything that, that was too much or too less, you can fix that. Remember white adds back and black takes away and you need your Not sure what that is over there. All right. I mean, overall, I think it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stretch him out to make him bigger. And how you do that is you grab in the corners. So to stretch him out proportionately, you grab in the one of the co four corners and you hold the shift key down while grabbing. And that will make it to where it is proportionate while you're stretching. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the X to save. And again, as you can see, it updated here and over here. So that is how easy it is to, um, to work with these templates. The templates are <clears throat> set in RGB mode at 18 bits channels. And if you go to image size, you can see that the resolution is 600 pixels, okay? I'm going to zoom in to 50%. I'm only at 50%, guys, and this is the quality of the template, okay? You don't have any missed, mismatched, um, poor replacement substitutions up here like I've seen in some other templates. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's just really, really, really good quality. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and one last thing is, so you use these templates to put on, um, to put on the pet tags. So as you can see, this is a square template. So you're probably thinking, Hey, Amy, you know, what do we put these on? If you're not already familiar, I sell the MDF blanks to go with these and we'll just, bring up a website here real quick and um, hold on a minute all right just a minute let's bring up the website so let's go to the, my website and here is my shop page if you click on custom laser cup blanks you'll see the pet tags right here and just click on that and as of right now I only have one shape of the MDF pet tags and it shows you they're sold in sets of 10. So this is what you'd put those templates on. I am also getting in and currently have manufactured some um, metal. So I'll also be offering this shape in aluminum pet tags. So be looking for those in a few weeks as they're already being manufactured in the masses and I plan on getting them in very soon. Also on the page, you will see the how-to video of how to, how to press this. Um, so um, you can watch that and how to press it and how good the quality comes out but right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how good of the press quality is and a video I took so let's go ahead and go to that now okay so I just wanted to show you the quality of a finished pet tag the MDF and as you can see it's very good quality you can read it the templates good the MDFs good and you gotta keep in mind that these are super small, guys. So this is very good, very clear, glossy. I'm trying to tilt it at an angle so you can see how glossy it is. And I'm gonna show you the size of the template. So it's approximately 1.7 seven inches in size. So these are small little guys and so they're really good quality. Okay. okay. This is the purchase page. So this is where you will buy your templates off of my website. And right now the templates are $4.95 each 
for each template. I am also going to be setting up some bulk discounts. So if you order three, anywhere from three to five templates, you'll get a 10% discount. If you order anywhere from six to eight templates, you'll get a 15% discount. So that's a good little savings for you guys um, that are interested in buying more than one template at a time. So we're just gonna go back over here to the Photoshop and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I showed you guys how to, easy it is to work with these templates, the good quality of them because there are 600 DPI. Not sure. That was your Tennessee. This is your Mississippi. As you can see, they're just really good quality. Here's your Georgia. No choppy lines in here. So, and I also showed you guys in the video how you can delete the backgrounds yourself. All right, so that will conclude this video. If you have any questions, you can always message me on my website, which is, you can message me right down here. This little icon at the bottom will send a message directly to my business Facebook page. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.